In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 through to 22. Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I'll make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nests and followed him. And when he had gone a little farther from there, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the boat mending their nets. And immediately he called them. And they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and went after him. Then they went into Capernaum. And immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teachings, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful servants. Help us to repent and believe. In this scripture reading today from St. Mark in the very first chapter, we read how Jesus came to Galilee. John had been put into prison. Yes, he came, preaching and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. We could say this even today. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. How many of us have fallen away from the word of God, and the teachings of Jesus Christ, and follow the darkened world that we live in? It is very hard to escape this darkened world. It is everywhere. Yes. We must stop that and follow the light, Jesus Christ. And then in a little bit further on, we read about how Jesus called the first four disciples. They were fishermen. Yes, he said to them, follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. No longer will you be catching fish in your nets, but that you will be drawing all men to God. And of course, the last part of this reading, we read how Jesus entered the synagogue in Capernaum. And they were all astonished at his teachings. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. The scribes taught, yes, but like from a book. 
just reading someone else's words that Christ taught with authority. Where did this authority come from? From God. For the words that Jesus spoke and taught were not his own words, but that of God. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you to understand and especially to repent and believe the word of God. Glory to you, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.